Did you want to say something to her? Okay, we are entering Texas. I am in Houston, Texas, and I'm here to train two crews to do a roof. They've never done roofing before, but I'm training two crews. And here's the idea about it. This is an 85,000 square foot building. So the owner of this building wants to get a contractor. It's going to cost him around $500,000. So here's what I do. I normally suggest I'll train two people or a few people, and then he only has to pay the labor and the material. After I've trained them, they will know how to do this roof. There will be no doubt about it, and there will no be, this is gonna be the best roof. The roof they're gonna get is a torch down roof, not a TPO or EPDM. T TPO and EPDM doesn't even match close to a torch down roof, not even close. And so he's getting a roof far superior to a EPDM or TPO roof. He gets a two-ply torch down roof. That's what I'm going to teach and train these people how to do. And so it's going to cost him around $1.20, $1.30 for the material. That's approximately what it's going to cost. Let's say he has seven people. It's going to cost him over $30,000. So you can figure it out. It's going to cost him around $150,000 to do this roof. Where it, and he gets a far superior roof than an EPDM or a TPO roof. So I'm gonna train them and I'm gonna take you through the process, training, showing how we, we how, I, uh, how they learn. But at the same time, you can learn how to do it. And I don't need to train you. All right, here we go. All right, they're getting material up. Morning. Hi, how are you doing? Nice. Salvador. Salvador. Everybody call me Sal. Very good. Very good. Come how are see. you? Muy bien. Okay. Hi, how are you doing? My wife, Ali. Ali, nice to meet you. All right. So we're working now. We unload the stuff. Uh, part of the crew is already there. That's good. How so, do you get up there? We have a stair right there. Inside. It's like a tubing. You can go through okay. here. Okay. Okay. And make a lift. And you can see the tubing around. Okay. Are you the manager? Yeah, I'm gonna be in, in charge. <laughs> <laughs> That's the main idea. You know? <laughs> and the guy with the sunglasses, the Chinese one, the, the black shirt. Yeah. That another one. We're gonna stay one group. Okay. Group. Okay. Good. Good. Yeah. All right. Okay, nice. All right, so man. welcome. See you then. I'll see you up there. See you then. Uh, all right. So. Yeah. Okay. So they got the material going up, and I met the first guy for the first time. And we are ready to go. Left, all the way down, in the wall. All right, well, okay, no problem. Here's the reason. Here's the reason it's leaking. And you can see the tar, the, the brown tar. What is uh, it's a tar and gravel roof on top of the metal roof. Okay. Okay. You can see. Look at this. This roof is shot. All right. Yes, the roof. Oh yeah, yeah. See how soft it is here. Very bad. So, um, you can see all the seams. Whoa, momento. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Momento, momento. Hey, hey. Put it down. Put it down. Hola. Hola, ¿cómo está? Bien, ¿y tú? Bien, bien. Enrique. Eg Ignacio Nas. 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 Buen día. ¿Cómo está? Buenos días. Enrique. 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 Buenos días. ¿Cómo está este joven? Oscar. Eh, Oscar. 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 O
Yeah. Yeah. He's the best guy here. <laughs> <laughs> but his hand is soft. Shake my hand. It's like a, it's like a little little girl. Shake my hand. There you go. <laughs> Good morning, good morning. How are you, buddy? How you doing, man? You're doing well, doing well. How's up, man? Uh, they say, what's up, man? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. Nice meeting you, finally. Yeah? Good morning, sir. This good morning. my wife, Ali. Hi Ali, how are you doing? I'm good, thank you. <laughs> Welcome to Texas. <laughs> <laughs> it's hot, right? We're used to it. I mean, I, it gets hot. What I'm worried about is the low spots. Doesn't matter. Okay. Because if you see from inside, there are some uh, they, of the corrugated. Yeah, they, they rust it through, yes. right? It really doesn't matter. Okay. Listen, how far is the roofing supply place from here? Two miles. ABC. Let me go there quick. I want to buy. Supply. I want to buy. Um, uh, you, you're gonna buy it, but I'm gonna <laughs> go and get see if I can get some uh, dirt pitch there. Uh, metal edging. Uh, metal edging. Yeah. For, uh, for the for the gutter here. Okay. I want to go and see if I can get it. I'll send Salvador with you. Okay. He has a card. Okay. You know. Okay. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Oscar, you speak English? A little bit. A little? That's it. Just so. I can translate. That's yeah, good. So. Do you? Do. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> never, never. This is the first rule we're going to learn. Nunca. Never walk like this. Nunca camina para atrás. On this route. Primera regla. Any route. Any route. Never. We don't, I don't want that. I don't want anybody to say, okay, I didn't warn you. If you're gonna go like this, I don't care if you're there. Right. If you're in the middle of the roof and you go like this, sorry, because you're gonna do that anywhere. Right. Never, never walk like this. Always turn around. And you wanna see where you go? If you don't go like this, then you're gonna go, go back. Because you forget. Your mind thinks of this and you forget. Yeah, book plate. Book plate. There, there is inside. Uh, right. The camioneta don't touch the truck. Rico, cut a small piece, put it here. Okay. okay? And there too. Alright, so we got a crew doing that. And we got another crew. They've never done roofing. Hold on, Nate, hold on. Got a uh, pull this. Okay. Alright, let me, let me stand here. Hold on. Okay, pull it. There you go. Walk, walk, pull it far away. Yeah, stand up. Okay. There you go. That's the next one. It's all repetition. So, uh, we got these guys um, putting the paper down and we're putting a base down here. This is over stone, if you notice. Nice, okay. Ah, Nine, 95 degrees, it's quite hot here. Nate, we gotta do this plastic too. So, we put the base down, this is a fiber base. Uh, material normally people will torch straight to this normally you straight torch to this but I don't do that we do different we put this because we want to cover the stone you understand this we cover the stone so we get a smooth surface okay. 
Yeah. You see, we got a relatively smooth surface. Yeah. We're going to take a blower, blow this, uh, whatever stones on here off, and that's just nice and smooth now. Okay. Then we put this base sheet, which is a modified by two and base. Look, it's sticking. You see that? Yeah, it's going to stick little by little. Look, it's, heat, it's, yeah? yeah, it's going to stick. This sticks to this. Okay. Now this is a, a modified by two-man base. It's not the same as this. It's different. Uh, yeah, yeah. I see. Now we have a super smooth no, surface, no, 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 yeah, but yeah, the torch down no, 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 will no, stick no. to this yeah. very fast. Okay. So that's oh, what the principle okay, is. Yeah. Okay. Okay. The okay. torch we're gonna use now. Or? Yeah, we're gonna do, we're gonna do a torch yeah. on top of this now. Okay. I'll show you. Okay. But let's do the drippage here first because we need to uh, get the water off into the gutter, right? Okay. Okay. So let me show you. This is not a screw gun. This is for sheet drop. Okay. This is the belly. I'm gonna hold it down for it. Pull it close. <laughs> no, wait. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's okay. Okay. That's it. Nice. Very nice. Okay. <laughs> okay. Doing... Approximately two feet long or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every... Not a, it's not a screw gun, you know? They talking something good, huh? Very 
good. Poquito más para que salga el líquido. Momento. My wife and I, we teaching these crews. She knows what to do. <laughs> yeah, they're good, they're learning. Yeah. I want you, I want you to tell him, can I see the melting? Look, it's yeah. melting. Look, see. Look. Ah. Melting, okay? Para que pegue, porque es como un glue, ¿ok? Look. Quiere ver eso, el líquido negro, para que pegue. Tell him, can I see the melting? Look, it's yeah. melting. Look, see. Look. Ah. Melting, okay? Sí, sí, para que pegue, porque es como un glue, okay? Look. All right, so I lost some video footage of this roof where I showed the guys how to uh, tie the membrane to the drippage. Now, I didn't want you not to know how to do it, so I got some old footage which I brought in so you can see how it's done so you can get an idea and you can learn as well. So watch this next clip on how to tie the membrane into a drip edge. So instead of rolling the roll over the edge here, which is impossible, I, I do this instead. I do this instead. I pull this back, and I only do about 10 feet at a time. You cannot do long rolls like this. So I'm gonna show you. See this piece, it's cut 10 feet. It's about five feet that way and five feet that way. I pull it back, stand, you see? Roll it long. So you should use asphalt primer on a metal. So what you can do is you can spray it like that. Here's my trick. I use modified bitumen at least. You see that? Carnac. And that's the only one that is a carnac the only one that makes it. And I put that on my drip edge, like that. Okay? I don't use primer because this is a primer by itself. But I'm showing you you can use a primer, that's not bad. But now I am putting a like a quarter of an inch thick coating of modified bitumen adhesive but far better than trying to torch heat weld it to the metal you cannot you cannot heat weld the metal you can melt the stuff it will stick there only for a year or two and will come loose so here's what I do so to be able to stick the membrane you have to burn this plastic you see the plastic here you have to burn the plastic and all I do is, I do this. Burn the plastic. And I'm done. Now, I 
throw my membrane over and I'm done. All I do is that's it. And I have a good bond to my metal. That's the best way to do it. That's it. I'm done. All that's left is here you go. Okay, so the next video, I went back to Houston, to this roof, to show them how to make a transition. The reason for that was that they had leaks everywhere, even underneath the new roof, because the new roof was not sealed off at the old roof. They didn't make a transition. So I went back to show them how to make a transition so they can manage the work so they can do section by section and not have everything leaking on them. And I also had to go and inspect the roof. Watch this next video, part two.